A gentle kiss, a subtle twist, and she became everything to me. My favorite smile, we sat a while, and it became clear for all to see. For under How the doody peeps and welcome back to the channel. And little B roll you've just seen. We're at Mary's Shell. But this is part of the meetup from last week's vlog when we're at the Rex. There's about ten of us still left, one or two are coming late, later on. But this has changed. And not for the good. Well, it is for the good of the shell but not for the good of photography because I'm going to show you in a minute obviously the shell is just here as it's always been the normal place but look at these rocks we've got a new sea defence in so whether or not we're going to photoshop these out or whether the tide's going to come above them but I think it's because to stop the waves hitting the shell because at the base of the shell you can see all the supports and everything at the minute, so <coughs> I think the tide has been trying to wash the shell away, unfortunately. So these are for the good of the shell, but not for good of photography. Also, we've got, since last time here, a big stanchion just here, but they go all the way down the beach too. So seems to be a lot more sea defences getting put in. But anyway, the tide is on its way in. I will get a time lapse going because we're going to go down to the ogre first. So I'll get that sea coming down the ogre first and then we'll come and see what we can do with the old Mary's shell with all this lot here. I'm sure we'll make it work. So yeah, we'll see what's what anyway. But for the time being, I'm off to the sea. Good old Mr. Sea Ogre. Welcome to Mr. Sea Ogre. He's had his eyes cleaned as well, look. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go for a shot that I've taken before where I get up onto the rocks and get the eye line right into the horizon going across. So, But it is going to be a waiting game. I'm going to have to wait for the tide to come in to get rid of all this mess and stuff like that. So for the time being, I'm going to put a bit of a, a, bit of a time lapse, get it going for you, and I'll bob that on next for you. <laughs> You've just seen there the tide is coming in coming in thick and fast a few of us have made the choice of getting wellies on one or two like you've just seen there craig hasn't so obviously it is coming in fairly quick i have done a couple of shots 30 second exposures one with the horizon line right in his eyes and one just above it as well just so i can take the horizon out so yeah it's gonna be quite nice and minimal is this this one at the moment I've got quite low because it is giving a slight reflection on the top of this calm water. The ro there's a rock behind it, but this one, the horizon is sort of on its nose line. But yeah, so nice minimal seascape shots just while we get ready for Mary's Shell, which you can see from down here, there's still quite a few of us all about. Obviously, the shell's just over there, which the water's not quite there yet. So yeah, I thought I'd get the ogre first. Before going round to the shell. Daz now is on the safe spot <laughs> on the rocks, which is gonna have to watch out because it does come round here. So yeah. So yeah, I'll bomb these up for you now anyway, as we start to make us round to the shell. <laughs> I'm trying to make use of these stones that have been put around the back of the Mary's shell obviously to try and stop the erosion as you can see around here all the stones around but it takes into account the whole of the bank around there 
Sun is just off to the left hand side of it, so it is casting a nice shadow against it. We have got everyone else down here as well. Everyone is still shooting down this side. Got one or two at this side as well, and above us, so yeah. It is turning out to be a busy, busy day, so hoping as well that if the tide gets high enough, they'll come above these rocks and make a few splashes. So for the time being anyway, I'll bob this shot on for you. And if you are interested in everyone else's picks, hop onto the Facebook group, Photo Peeps. So I'll leave a link to that below as well anyway. But anyway, I'm going to set a time lapse going anyway, and I'll put that on at the end as we're waiting for this tide, just to get that a little bit higher. This is proving quite difficult and it shouldn't be. It's all because of these stones and that now. Now if this was a eight, nine metre tide, it'd be all right. So we're all high tide and they'd be crashing over the top of these stones and it'd get rid of them for you. Be a lot of Photoshop work as well, but I'm gonna keep the stones in just because it's something different. But composition wise, here we go. This is roughly the composition at the moment. I am, as you can see, I'm there. Just got the shell hiding that post. Let me just take that one now. Here's a 30 second exposure, just because that light is hitting the side of the shell now. Here's a 30 second exposure. I'm on an F16. So, yeah, it's going to be nice minimalist, bit of side light. The sky is absolutely fantastic. Put your on there, innit? The sky is lovely, it's nice and muted, don't really need a, a long exposure shot, but we're just waiting for some colour. But yeah, the, the green, everything on the shell is just absolutely popping, but it is proving hard work. So, anyway, we're here for sunset, so we'll see what happens if we get any colour in the sky. But I think I might stay with this composition, ready for sunset. <laughs> Peeps. as you can see we are getting a nice bit of colour now so still got the same composition obviously the gap in the middle hiding that post everyone is still here all about all on the steps and whatnot so what I'll do I'll leave you with all the final images I've still got the time lapse going so I'll leave you with that time lapse and we've had the drone up obviously Mark McNeil's been here he's got all the he's had his drone up and everything else so yeah it's been a cracking day with all this lot so I'll Anyway, if you are interested in one of these, jump over to the Facebook group, Photo Peeps. We will get another one going in a couple of months time. But for the time being, I'll leave you with everything. The time lapse, the drone, all the images. And you can see all these guys work all over on the Facebook group. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now. gentle kiss, a subtle twist, and she became everything to me. My 
every smile we sat a while and it became clear for all to see for under these three And an October clear night She paints the sky The stars grew dim She let me in A ghostly town became so alive The look of love sent from above A touch that I was so long deprived of But on the least street Light. On an October clear night She paints the sky Red velvet sky Okay. Mm-hmm. 